So, we might be getting an Evil Dead animated series, huh? Neat. I think it's no secret that I love Evil Dead and the spin-off TV show, considering the fact that the Chainsaw Man himself is on my YouTube banner. And I always knew Ash vs. Evil Dead was gonna continue, I just thought it was gonna be through a comic book. Elagos was in one already, so... But I do think an adult animated serialized show might actually be an interesting road to take. Bruce Campbell said himself he doesn't want to physically act as Ash anymore, and who can blame him? He gave it his all for three incredible seasons and three movies. I think you should let his head rest by now. However, I want to put my two cents in on how this show could be really good or really bad really quick. Hence why I'm making this video. So let me list down the things this show has to get right in order for it to be a good animated Evil Dead property. 1. Maintain the things that make Evil Dead great. There are three things that Evil Dead needs to be great. Horror, action, and comedy. If any of these are missing, it's not Evil Dead. It's just an action horror flick or a comedy action adventure or comedic horror film. Evil Dead needs all three of these things to work well. While each movie does one of these three better than the others, they all still work really well because they keep all three central themes, even if one of them is more focused on than the others. Meanwhile, the comics, games, and TV show pull off all three flawlessly because they know what makes Evil Dead work. This is honestly why Evil Dead 2013 failed in my opinion. It was all horror and nothing else. Let's hope Evil Dead Rise also takes this to heart, otherwise it could just be another basic horror film. 2. Make it an anthology. I think it's safe to say that Evil Dead is not a very consistent series, but it can be better. Star Wars The Clone Wars worked so well because it basically filled in every plot hole that was in the Star Wars prequels, all while making previously unknown characters better through fantastic writing. Why can't we do that, but with the Evil Dead series? Honestly, out of any series, Evil Dead needs the most cleanup, since right now, the continuity is a bit of a mess. An anthology set of episodes, similar to other shows, could allow for more character growth from different Evil Dead characters and a bit of course correction. Heck, the game already started doing this by making characters like Ed Getley and Henry the Red so likable. But yeah, basically the best course of action is, well, a bit of course correction, I guess. Anyway, the last one is... 3. Don't make it like every other adult animated show. Adult animated shows kinda have a bad rap due to them being cheaply made and having bad humor. I'm not sure what animation style they would go with, but I always thought the style they used for Arcane or The Walking Dead video games would lend itself naturally to the Evil Dead. It would fit so well with the franchise and give it a darker, grittier edge that could allow for good action and humor since, you know, it has a dark, gritty edge and it's the Evil Dead. What we don't need is Family Guy Evil Dead. Please no, like, like I know that there's someone out there considering this, please. Please don't let this happen. And honestly, yeah, that's all the advice I would give. Evil Dead is a very special franchise. While it doesn't have oodles of content like many others, it's still near and dear to many people's hearts, including mine. And honestly, if you can nail down these three recommendations, I think a lot of people will enjoy it. I'm still on the fence for Evil Dead Rise and if it will be any good, since we haven't gotten any trailers just yet. But I have hope that it can be better than Evil Dead 2013 if it keeps the values of the series. Besides, if Evil Dead Rise does do well, it will be awesome to potentially have a new trilogy of movies alongside an Evil Dead animated series. For now, however, we're just going to have to wait and hope that things work out well. And that we get some super enjoyable new Evil Dead content. And for the love of God, please don't try and make it PG-13. Like, I love Army of Darkness, but Evil Dead anime gory fights sound too good. Like, please make it rated for mature audiences, I beg you!